One of the most important things for a performer is their selection of literature. Here are some suggestions for finding the right piece for you, some suggestions for what you should look for in a good story, and a few tricks to make the process easier. First, know what type of story you want to tell. Comedy, drama, a combination? Knowing what type of story you want to tell will help you know right away if something is a good fit for you. If you don't know, that's okay. It's totally fine to set out to search for a piece and just wait for it to jump out at you. Trust me, you'll know when you found the right piece for you. Once you start looking for a piece, I recommend consulting a variety of sources. Don't limit yourself to just one. And please, don't rely on the internet to give you the perfect piece of literature. It takes more than half an hour on Google to find a good story. You have to read. A lot. You can use the internet to search for possible titles with terms like best short stories or short stories about. This will likely lead you down a rabbit hole of potential literature. And in this case, that's a good thing. Once you've collected some potential titles, if they're not available online, find a copy of them at the library and give them a read. Or go to the library itself and use it as a search engine. Talk to a librarian about reserving some books or go straight to the literature section and walk out with a stack. You should be looking for short stories, novellas or short novels, plays, both full length and one acts. There are often anthologies of plays, poetry, and short stories that make collecting a lot of titles easy. I know this sounds old fashioned and difficult, and it is, but it's the only way to get a really good look at published literature that would be interesting for you to perform. Some things you should look for in a good story. Compelling characters. Characters that have something interesting about them. An interesting plot. The things that happen should be interesting in and of themselves. A well-told story. The language should be engaging and creative, but not over the top and flowery. Too many fancy words and it makes it hard to pay attention to what's going on. Emotional or intellectual significance. It has to be important to you and to others. And all the elements of a story. Beginning, middle, climax, and some sort of resolution. Here are some tricks for saving time as you sit down to read. Read a summary of the story if it's available. If you don't like the concept, don't read the whole book. Or you could read just the first three pages. If you aren't hooked after three pages or if you don't like the writing style, stop reading and move on to another option. Ultimately, you have to pick a piece that you can get behind and one that will highlight your abilities. You have to be able to convey the emotional and intellectual value of the piece. But don't take the easy way out and do something inside your comfort zone. You should stretch yourself as a performer. Let's review. First, you have to read. A lot. The more you read, the more chance you'll have of finding that perfect piece of literature. Use the internet only for finding titles and guiding your search. Then find the book you want at the library and read it until you know this will work or not. Don't take the time to read every piece in its entirety unless you find yourself really enjoying it. Three pages is all it takes. Make sure it has all the elements a good story should have, and that it has the elements of a story that you want. It's a daunting task to find literature, especially if you don't already have an idea of what you're looking for. But patience and a lot of reading will ultimately lead you to find the perfect piece for you.